All right, children. I was gonna not talk about politics, but I felt like it. Also, um, this video will be coming out late because the register for mail-in ballots was October 20th, but people still think they're fraudulent, so we're gonna talk about it. and the US Postal Service is still in jeopardy, so we're also gonna talk about that. Um, if you're wondering, no, this title of the video isn't a lie. I worked as a counter at my local government center, and let me just say, voting, even though you know, some people are teenagers doing it. Voting is a very freaking secure. Excuse me. First, let's talk about the people who actually handle your votes and rely on for a lot of things. That is the U.S. Postal and Service, the third largest U.S. employer with 600,000 people, uh, part of it, and 40% are minorities, which is something to keep in mind and is also very good for them. One sixth of all of the population are also military veterans. Uh, anyways, so as we've already seen, um, which I think, at least in my state, melon is done. You can't, you can't do that anymore. So, right now, if you can't do that, make sure you go out to vote. Early voting is good at your local government center or polling place. There are many places you can go to look that up. So, I don't know if there's a way you can make sure you did that. Probably vote.org, if there is any. Rem there, if we've already seen, some people put in fake ballot boxes, so your vote isn't counted because we're in a pandemic and your vote doesn't matter. Anyway, let's talk a bit more about the Postal Service. What does it do? Why it sends your mail and gets your ballots off to the government so you don't have to pay for it. Corona, however, has put the self-funded USPS on backlog. So, so like most companies, they are struggling, but the government does not really want to help them. Which, actually, luckily, this is a little less nonpartisan because I live in a state where it's like, <laughs> we won't help you stupid leftists. But one of the senators was like, yeah, I'm getting on that. I'm like, are you lying to me? But hopefully they weren't, and that's actually going to be fixed. Because Trump wants to privatize the mail. No, why wouldn't this be good? Because it's the cheapest route to send mail and many small businesses actually rely on those services services for that how many etsy packages have you gotten how many i know you have because i have two um anyways so the house has passed a 25 billion dollar for the postal service that needs to be replaced or uh the treasury loan the trump administration has objected to any direct postal service which is great. Also, DeJoy, the postmaster, is a big Trump guy and is literally invested in opposing companies to the USPS. So, you might be like, it would be good to privatize this, right? Like, capitalism, people make more money. But the US Postal Service is basically an old archaic form of communication, but it also serves the important functions of getting our packages, which is incredibly important because most businesses have to do some sort of online feature. Uh, some don't, depending on what state you're in, because some don't believe that coronavirus is a thing. Yay! Anyways, what does this have to do with your vote? Well, if you voted by mail, your vote has gone through the Postal Service and has arrived at a government center or other specified location. This is where all the counters come in. So let me explain the process of counting the votes and making sure they're accurate. So what they do is they hire a bunch of people who are kind of volunteers and separate them into groups. Each group consists of a Democrat and a Republican. Yes, you have to work together. So I was paired with a Republican and what we would have to do is open up every ballot. We were not responsible for checking who they voted for. Our job was to make sure that the number of ballots we received was accurate and count the number of ballots we had. Um, someone else would be checking who was voted for. Uh, the reason they do it though by obviously Republican and Democrat checking is so that um, if you're let's say a Democrat and you see someone vote a Republican you can't be like mm -mm, no I'm gonna make sure their vote gets discounted and be like there's something wrong with the packaging that can't happen now after that there's like a long list of things you have to do and you have to check each individual envelope and be like is this there is this there is this there and the main problem is is if the signatures match 
or there's some other specified problem. And so if your signature doesn't match, which I would believe that a lot of these were not fraudulent posts, but did not have matching signatures, they would get disqualified. So it's actually a lot easier for your vote to be disqualified than it is for any problems to have. Because if you're going into a poll place and actually punching it in, it's a lot easier to bring an electronic election than it is to go through and pass all the steps of frauding one mail-in ballot because we have to go through all of them individually by hand and a Democrat and a Republican have to look at them. And in fact, and a lot of ballots that are probably good end up getting thrown out because of issues in that process. So yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to give that opinion on this video, also because I look like a darn snack today. Freaking full on edible arrangement. And I just wanted to make sure you were all informed about the actual process of counting ballots, making sure you go out to vote because voting is the most important thing, and just letting you know that the date for sending in your ballot in most places has already gone to pass. So now it is your job to make sure that is actually counted per se or you put it in the right spot and and not double up and be like oh I have to go follow it as Trump suggested to the polls don't go do that if you didn't vote already go vote early vote please be especially if you live in a big city because they're limiting the number of polling places and lots of people will on election day have to wait in ridiculously long lines and some people cannot afford to do that if you live in any city's place, please go find your polling places and vote early. Um, I can't recommend that enough. Anyways, the next video on this channel will either be me singing a stupid song I wrote, or will hopefully be something for Halloween, my favorite holiday. Uh, thank you, no one, for watching this video. Um, cause no one probably did. Uh, no one probably did, cause this was off topic. Anyway, um... I hope you enjoyed this kind of perspective on it. Please make sure to subscribe or unsubscribe if you're feeling like it. And I will see you soon. Bye.